Hey guys, it's Jim. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. This is episode number three in my Illuminar 2018 tutorial series. Hope you're having fun. Hope you're learning a lot. Episode one and two, if you haven't seen them, go back a couple of videos. They are there and they're waiting on you. Get in there. Check it out. I'm just playing. Uh, so this is number three, as I said, and today we're going to talk about workspaces. Workspaces are unique and interesting and I think a really cool feature of Luminar 2018. So let's hop in. Okay, so I have this photo. This is a, a sunset-ish kind of late afternoon shot of the skyline of Vancouver, Canada. Uh, we were there and uh, we'd rented an Airbnb and it had this amazing view and I didn't want to leave because the view was so good. So I got about a thousand photos like this, but the sky was really cool this day and uh, I was happy to be firing away. So that's what I'm working on. I want to talk to you about workspaces. When I got Luminar 2017, so a year ago, the first version when it came out, I'm not really sure I fully understood the power of workspaces. I was like, oh, it's kind of cool. It's a collection of filters and la da da, but it really does help you edit more intelligently. Uh, I've got a video I shared a, a few videos back, three or so videos ago, um, and it's called Light Detail Color, How I Edit in Luminar. And really what that comes down to is I've created workspaces for step one, controlling the light, step two, bringing up the details, and step three, enhancing the color. And I do them in that order on different layers, and each of those workspaces has the filters that I prefer to use for controlling light, detail, and color. I stack those, and that's how I edit. And so what I've found is that sometimes I'll get a photo, and I might be scratching my head saying, well, what do I want to do? But when I approach it from the standpoint of using workspaces, light, detail, and color, then um, I can go in and immediately that's my approach and it just works literally on every photo. Um, so those workspaces are for free. You can download them off the link that's underneath uh, or in the comments section of that video. So check that out if you want to uh, check those out, I guess. Um, and so what I'm gonna do here today is talk a little bit about workspaces. So if you don't know what a workspace is, the best thing I can do is show you. When you're in Luminar, you'll have this little uh, button here with the drop down menu, and you can see there's a number of workspaces that are built in. And then these are my three that I talked about a minute ago light, detail, and color. I built those, and I'll show you how you do that. There's one in particular that's really good, it's called Quick and Awesome. Uh, and so I've opened it, and you'll notice that nothing's happened to the photo, and that's because a workspace is a collection of filters. Just the filters are grouped together to get to, uh, to access them with one click. Uh, it's not a preset, so there's no slider adjustments. Presets are up here, right? You get to presets there. You probably know that from my, uh, I think my first video in this series. But workspaces are just a collection of filters with no edits or slider adjustments made to them. The reason that's helpful is because you can bunch together stuff that you would commonly use. So if you look at this, there's some ones built for professional use or essential use, you know, aerial photos, black and whites, landscapes, portraits, and street. So if you shoot a lot of seascapes, you might find that there's three or nine or 14 filters you always use on a seascape. Stick them together, build a workspace, and save it. And the next time you have a seascape photo, you just go click on your seascape workspace. Boom, there's all your filters ready to go. It's a time saver. Keeps you from thinking about, you know, what do I need to do to this photo? You just go straight to editing. So I love it. I think it's a big advantage that Illuminar has over products like Lightroom. So uh, I use the quick and awesome in this case, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just bump up some of these filters. I'm just going to bring up some of the colors and the tones and just make the photo a little bit more exciting. And there you go. So that was, you know, five seconds of work because I was in the workspace. Um, but here's what, what I often do is I may start a workspace and then say, well, that's not really enough. There's a couple more things I'd like to do. So maybe I want to go add some golden hour, right? That sounds pretty good. Uh, maybe I want to add some, uh, let's say, color temperature, right? How about that? And so then I'm going to close the filter menu. So I can just come over here and say, hey, golden hour, let's just add you to the photo and warm this thing up a little bit. I'm, while I'm speaking of warming up, let's go over here to temperature and warm it up a little there. Maybe give it a little tint boost to give it more of a sunset look. And I can show you these two filters have had a pretty decent impact on the photo. Not massive, but I'm just trying to create a little bit warmer look a little bit more of that sunset light. There's the before and after. So let's say I'm done with a photo, but let's say, you know what? I really like this workspace. It's, it's working for me. I like these five filters. I think I'll use them on a lot of photos. Or for example, maybe you stood in this spot or wherever it was and you took 10 or 50 or 2000 photos. Maybe you're a wedding photographer and you had a specific kind of light. Um, 
you know, for an hour or so at a wedding and you fired away and you found that a certain group can filters really work, we'll save that as a workspace. So how do you do that? Easy. You've got these five filters and all you're going to do is go under here again and you're going to say save as new workspace. And so I'm going to call this skylines just because it's a skyline. And then you say save new workspace. Now the presets, we talked about presets in the first video, but if you want to save as a preset, I recommend doing that as well because if I clear this out, I lose all my edits. And then if I reopen the workspace, the edits aren't in the workspace. Remember the workspace, everything's at zero. So keep that in mind. So if you really like this look and want to use this look again, also create a, <coughs> excuse me, a filter preset. You can do that there, create new preset and be done. I'm not going to do that because I'm not really talking about that. So there you go. So now I've got Skylines, which is also now in my custom workspace area. So you may have a Luminar 2017 and you might say, well, Jim, I got some workspaces that I created in 17. I really like them and I want to put them in 18. Sure, let's do it. No problem. So go to your Luminar menu. Nope, don't do that. <laughs> go to your file menu. Sorry. And say show workspaces folder. And it's going to open up this thing and you're going to see my workspaces. The ones that are listed are the custom ones you have built. And if you scroll back all the way to the edge, you're, uh, or the far left side, you're going to see that there's a whole lot of folders. And by the way, I'm on a Mac. That's probably obvious. I have no idea what this looks like on a Windows computer, but it's, it's going to be hidden somewhere. Nonetheless, you'll get to it the same way. File, show workspaces, folder. So it's under users and then my name and then library and then under this group containers. And then you'll see here that there's Luminar 2018, not to be confused with Luminar NA. That's Luminar 2017. I'm in Luminar 2018 and workspaces and there's my workspaces. So if you've got workspaces over here, which is Luminar 2017, click on workspaces. And I had a, you know, some ones here. Let's say I like this magic hour workspace and I want it in Luminar 2018. Okay, we'll just drag it. Go like that. Put it in Luminar 2018. And um, let me get to Luminar 2018. Workspaces. And hey, I lost it. I didn't get it there. Oh, it's magic hour. I didn't get it in the right folder. I knew something was amiss. There you go. Now it's in my workspaces folder and it says magic hour. Note that I'm in Luminar 2018. And also, that's Aurora, sorry. There's Luminar 2017. Note that that workspace is gone. I literally moved it over. You could also copy. You could take a copy of this, put it on your desktop, name it whatever you want, and email it to a friend. So you can effectively export a workspace and share it with the friends through that same uh, option there. So now I'm going to go over here to my workspaces, and there's Magic Hour. And here's some filters that I had in my Magic Hour workspace. Notice that everything's been reset because it's a workspace, not a preset. So I don't need that for this photo. I really like the Skylines workspace. There it is. There's the filters I put in my Skyline workspace. Again, everything's been reset, so I don't have everything there. So this is where your preset would come in handy if you had uh, saved it as a preset, which I didn't. Um, but that's okay. I'm just going to make a few adjustments, kind of bring it back the way it was, and uh, bump that back up. And it was something like that. There's the before and after. And you saw how quickly I edited the photo without a preset. All I did is I opened the workspace and I had the filters I wanted already. I moved them accordingly and I'm all done. So let's see, that's using workspaces, that's creating workspaces, that's moving workspaces from Luminar 17 to Luminar 18, and that's sharing workspaces. And so that's really it. Think about workspaces. If you didn't watch my light, detail, and color video about how I use those workspaces, check it out a couple of videos ago. But that's it. That's episode three. A little shorter than the other ones, but I got a lot more to cover. So if this is helpful, give me a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think about it. If you'd share it with your friends, I'd just really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and keep checking it out. I got plenty more coming. And that's it, my friends. I'm done. You're done. Have fun with Luminar. I appreciate you watching. See you next time and adios.